What's up everyone? For this video, we're gonna talk about how to change the level layout in Metroid HD. So that's different from sound and graphics. And it's using something called Super NES Metroid HD Maker. At least that's what I call it, because basically it's like Super Mario Maker, but for Metroid HD. And admittedly, it's using something that has been out for a super long time called Editroid. So if you've been following the Metroid modding community or Metroid construction, you'll probably know that's not really earth shattering. But what is interesting is that this can actually be compatible with Metroid HD if you follow an extra step, which I'll show you how to do in this video. So if you follow this step, you can actually have the freedom to choose graphics, sound, and level layout. And at this point, it's like, okay, what can't you change with the original Metroid? And so that's what I think is really interesting. You can let me know in the comments below if you think that's interesting too. Or I guess if you don't think it's interesting, you think it's really lame, you can let me know that too, but you'll probably hear my feelings. Anyway, to get started, basically you'll need a few things. And I'll have links for these in the description, one of which is Editroid. That's created by Snarflam, Lunar IPS. You'll need a version of Mason that the pack itself was created in. I know it was created in 9.6, and later versions of Mason can read the Metroid HD pack, but it's just easier when you're tinkering with some things to use 9.6 itself because you're less likely to break something when you're actually editing. Just take my word on that. And you'll also need the, the ROM for the original Metroid. I won't be able to help you out with that portion because the Nintendo police will probably come after me and I don't really want that, but I can't help you with the stuff above. But just make sure that your, your NES file is 128 kilobytes and it'll, it'll probably work. But these other items here, Editroid Lunar IPS, I'll have in the links below. And that's all free stuff because that's what's great about the internet. You can get all this stuff without paying uh, for, for video games. I'm pretty sure that's why Al Gore created the internet. So uh, thanks to Al Gore. But in any case, to, to get started, we're going to want to open up Lunar IPS. And for this next step, what you're going to want to do is apply the IPS patch from Metroid HD to your actual ROM. Now, we're going to find the IPS in, in file inside Metroid HD. And actually, keep in mind, uh, a new version of Metroid HD was just recently released. It's 1.2. So if you haven't installed it, um, just make sure to do that. And I, I can also include one of the links below of how to do that. And uh, this will actually get you the IPS file you need to make these changes. But we'll go to Apply IPS Patch and it should be located in your mason folder assuming you've downloaded it previously again the latest version of metroid hd is 1.2 that was actually just recently released go to metroid hd and this is the patch inside now Ma mason automatically applies this patch but we're doing a manual apply so that editroid can read it this is the, the step that's crucial to make it so you can actually edit levels we're going to double click on that. Now it says select file to patch. This is your ROM. Make sure you do a backup before you do this. And before the patch, it should be 128 kilobytes. If I double click on it now, it says file was successfully patched. Close out here and go to find it. It should be 100, uh, 384 now. So now it's actually staged, so we can actually edit it in Editroid. So we're going to open up Editroid. Double click, go to File, Open, and find the file we just created. Double click on it. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the game. I won't cover all of the, the basically, I won't do a tutorial of how to do everything in Editroid because Snarflam is the creator and he has a YouTube channel that I'll link to that has some more advanced features. I'll just cover some basics just to get you started. But to actually move around, to actually go somewhere you want to edit, you can, assuming you have a little rolly ball on your mouse, if you click on that and then move your mouse, you can actually move down to where you want to edit. I want to go towards the beginning of the game. And I'm just going to edit this area here. So to get rid of a few things, you can actually right click and they'll go away. I'll get rid of this here and that. 
and I'll get rid of this too. And say I want to add like a little Chozo statue here. To add something, you hover over this. It says Add Remove. Say Add Object. And I don't want it to be lava, but I'll, I'll just move it down here. And to change the type, go to here. It says Structure Browser. I just want a little platform for that Chozo statue. So I'll click on that. And I don't want it to be silver, so to change the color, you can use this uh, palette switcher and make it blue. So I'm going to add another object. We'll do the, the Chozo statue, structure browser, right there. And I don't want this to be silver, I'll make that blue as well. So if I then go to File, Save, it should show up in the game once we actually open up our emulator. So let's check to see how, how this area looks now. Go to Downloads, open up Mason, file open, and open up your ROM. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of the sound so you can hear me a little better. Okay, I guess you'll just have to hear me over the music. Let's move to the right. Okay, everything looked as pretty much as I thought. Alright, so we pulled it off. That's the basics of actually just how to change the level layout in Metroid HD. If you made it this far, congratulations. And I hope you found this useful and I hope you guys come up with some cool stuff. But I really just wanted, wanted to show you how to do that. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond. But I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, see ya.